in case if you want to walk to Britain. From Afghanistan. But I decided to take a shortcut and fly to London. London is one of the most diverse cities in Britain, but infested with fast food, restaurants, and takeaways. Finding the taste of Afghanistan. Instead of exploring the city and meeting new people, I found myself isolated in my flat, missing my friends, family, and my food. Therefore, I forced myself to take matters in my own hand to explore London the Afghan way. I managed to get hold of three Afghan restaurants in different parts of London who were willing to take part in my documentary. My first visit was to Amul Kebab in North Finchley, a small and friendly Afghan restaurant and takeaway. I was received with a warm Afghan brotherly welcome. The entourage is modern with big flat screen broadcasting Afghan TV. But the smell of kebab and the traditional way of grilling brought me back to Afghanistan. Also the mantu, an Afghan meat filled dumpling, is handmade and steamed in the traditional way. <laughs> و پاکستانی بودم غذای مورد علاقه هر افغان و فکر میکنم 99 درصد قابلی و کباب و این دو چیز الحمدلله ما در رستورانتم دارم و بسیار با کیفیت عالی دارم غذای ایرانی هم دارم چون در این محیطی که ما رستوران ما باز کردیم دوستای ایرانی زندگی میکنن در این منطقه و ایجاب میکرد که ما تعداد غذای ایرانی را هم شامل مینوی خود داشته باشم ما با افتخاری را گفتم میتونم که در ابتدا وقت گناه می آمدن غذای مروجه خدا به اصطلاح که اونا دیده بودن و خورده بودن همیشه فرمایش میدادن و به اصطلاح تعریف میکردن و راضی بودن ما وقتی که غذای افغانی را برشان پیشکش کردم به شکل فری بعض اوقات مثلا نمونای غذای خدا برشان گذاشتم اینا امتحان کردن خوردن حال تقریبا اگر ما بگویم غلط نخواد بود که ده حدود 70 تا 80 فیصد دوستای ایرانی وقتی که من فرمایش اولشان غذای افغانی ماست نسخه غذای افغانی خوب و فکر میکنم در خانه هر افغانی یکی است ایتونه است که من اون نسخه را چیز دیگه استفاده کنم و یک دوست ما در گوشه دیگه دنیا وقتی غذای افغانی تایم میکنن ای بعد از پخت نفرم تعلق داره و به اون موادی که در بینش به اصطلاح استفاده میشه تقریبا مواد یکی است فور مستر غفوری Running an Afghan restaurant is not all about business. وظیفه خدا باید فراموش نکنیم هر کدام ما منایس یک افغان مقابل از اون ملت بیچاره مقابل از اون مملکتی که در سطح دنیا از نگاه چینل های خبری یا از نگاه بعض روزنامه ها شکل دیگه از اون مملکت ظاهر شده اصلا از کلچر غنی مملکت ما و شما از رسوم و عنانات ما و شما از غذای لذیذ ما و شما اصلا خبری نیست اصلا به اصطلاح But I'm wondering if Afghans often go to restaurants. The menu has a lot of choice and I found it hard to choose, so I asked for a broad selection. Not only I received a warm welcome as a guest I was looked after in a very traditional Afghan way, and Mr. Ghafri himself came to my table. I tried the Afghan favorite, Mantu. Salata, of course, the kebabs and kabli pilaf, but also some Iranian specialities, mainly chicken and rice. As an Afghan, you simply cannot miss out on the Mahija kabli pilaf. My next appointment was with Ashiana. Since I'm in the UK, I took up the custom to inform my next appointment that I was coming. Be on time, unlike many other Afghans. Ashiana means nest and looks like a medium restaurant on the outside and does not only serve Afghan food but also other cuisines too. Again, I received a warm welcome and was guided into an impressive hall. Ashiana is based in Hounslow and has a spacious banqueting hall plus a cozy but very modern restaurant and bar designed by the owner himself. 
تقریبا مدت سه سال میشه که ما مصروف این بزنس هستیم سالون هاشونه و رسولان هاشونه تو اضافه از 80 فیصد بزنس ما شامل سالون کلان ماست که گنجایش 400 نفر داره ما برالای افغان ها کسمار های اندی داریم، ایرانی داریم، روسی داریم، عربی داریم، سومالی هست خود مجموع تمام بسابقه کلچر ها رو ما در پولی خود داریم و زیادتر کسمار های ما در اینجه تقریبا اندی ها و افغان هست The modern design made a clean and tidy impression on me with various paintings and images of London on the wall. But there was no sign of Afghan culture or pictures of Afghanistan. I wondered why this was. طبیعتو بسیار مقبول داره ما با حساب دو قسم می سازیم که شامل تمام نشنالیتی باشه بر I wanted to know why restaurants often fail to maintain their quality as soon as they have branded their name خب یا علاقه مندی و نفرا با بزنس نمی باشه یا که بعضی کساس که بساب زود خسته میشن از 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 بزنس نمی خواهند که بساب چیزی که بوده همون قسم دوام بده از نظر من از نظر شخصی من ما باید کوشش کنیم که همیشه چون دایی بزنس ها زیاد اوسلامندی کار است زیاد توجه کار است امی اوسلامندی و توجه را ما زیادتر ساخته بود مستر نورزای استیک اون افغان رستوران کالچر است سلیتلی دیفرنت متاسفانه در انگلستان ما شخصا چون فعلا نمیجوز نگی میکنم نمی ارتباط گرم میزنم بسیار کم است معمولا افغان ها خب ما میبینم یک تعداد میرن متاس و نتنه مردم میرن یعنی فامیل خود که خود نمیرن ما برنامه های داشتیم برنامه های شبای موسیقی داشتیم ما همیشه منتظر بوده که حتی اقل اکس فامیلی به چون میبینه که تنه مردم میرن اکثرا یعنی فامیل ها از این فرهنگ رستوران رفتن بیرون اکثرا یک خدا گوشگیری گوشگیری میکنن در حالی که من قبلا در هلند زندگی میکنم این موضوع در هلند حل مثلا جایی که کدام برنامه موسیقی بود برنامه موسیقی می بود میدیم که فرمولا خانم و شاور خود و دکتر خود اشتراک میکردن لذت میبردن از غذای بیرون خوب این تنو هدف از این است که باید بیرون بره چون وطن نیست دور از وطن است من اقل طبیعت انسان یک it's time to change my mood too now. And I changed my focus towards the food. This time I was offered shola, traditionally cooked and served Afghan sticky rice. I should have stopped talking and start tasting. My taste buds were pleasantly treated and I was interested to know the chef responsible for this experience. As I walked towards the kitchen, I was confronted with this typical Afghan style warning sign. But being Afghan and all I know how to get around with the rules. A very clean and efficient kitchen, but where the cooking pigs plays in a very traditional Afghan way. From the um, childhood, I like to cook, and, and I love cooking, and uh, and I find it uh, uh, interesting the way. I mean, all the time you have to create something, you know. But I mean, always you have to present, represent the best as you can. All menu, Indian menu as well, and also we we do Arabic a little bit of Arabic, and also a little bit of Iranian, a little bit of um, Somalian and sometimes English as well. I would like to know what he thinks about Afghan food and the traditional way of cooking. Uh, I think uh, Afghan food one of the best. I can't say Afghan food because lots of, I like lo all, I mean, lots of food, different Chinese food, Indian food, but Afghan food one of the best and also very traditional. And also it's not just about the uh, eating or this is the, way of tradition cooking and the little bit of art. Afghan food normally contains a lot of ingredients unique for Afghanistan. I can imagine it would be hard to get these ingredients in the UK. 
Some of the ingredients is easy to find, but sometimes some of the ingredients difficult and it's not necessary because uh, you need the flavor. If we can f get the flavor from, uh, I mean, less uh, the product which is has less cholesterol or uh, you know not very fatty, you know, because a traditional way of, for example, kabuli palau making in Afghanistan is based on sometimes they use the uh, oil from fat of the animals, you know. Um, lamb fat or uh, you know um, using the it's called different oil which is zegar or they're, they're quite heavy as a chef he's not only passionate about cooking but he also has a heart for the community a little bit i want to for all of our all community afghan communities to try to bring them here and also give them nice food a little bit of music just enjoy and you know relax their mind Last but not least is Ariana restaurant, close to Paddington station. Ariana has a warm and cozy entourage. This is a buffet restaurant where you can eat as much as you like, with a huge variety of Afghan specialities. Since this is a very popular and always busy restaurant that keeps Mr. Suleiman Qadir running around, I could not do an interview with him, but I managed to get some of his comments on paper. Then all of a sudden Suleiman had to answer a call and runs off to his work. Again, and I head back to my table where the food is waiting for me. I pass my comment in sign language since I have run out of words and one sign says it all. During this journey, I came very close to the unique taste of Afghan food that I remember so well from Afghanistan. One thing was exactly the same as back in Afghanistan. This is the Afghan friendship and hospitality. I made new friends and created new connections within the community. I realized wherever you are and whatever you do, there are friends to make and new people to meet.